I was um, listening to the WTF podcast recently. Mark Marin um, has this podcast. He's a stand-up comedian, but he's been doing this podcast a long time. He was interviewing Kate Blanchett, the actress, and she was talking about um, life during quarantine. And Mark Marin said, everybody is going to be who they are pretty soon. Everybody's going to be who they are pretty soon. It made me laugh out loud because it's true, you know, the more time you spend with somebody in quarantine, um, you know, at the beginning, maybe everybody's nice and polite, but you know, after a couple of months, you know, you, you are who you are and some of the um, veils fall away. So this idea of being who you really are is what we're always trying to do as yogis. In the tantric philosophy of yoga, in other philosophies and in some religions, there's this idea that we come into this existence perfect whole beings. Um, in yoga, we often refer to that as light. We are a light-filled being. But over time, we put veils over that light. So think about you know, your first heartbreak, and then you put up a wall or put a veil over that light. Or think about um, if you've had uh, maybe your first uh, money issue and then you decide from then on, well, I may never have money again, so I'm just gonna spend it all the time. Or you decide I, I may never get more money, so I'm gonna hold on to all the money I have. So we develop over time these habits, perceptions, these veils or kleshas in the language of yoga that, that cover up that light, but really distort it um, and the idea of what we're trying to do with yoga is get rid of all of these perceptions, ideas, habits that don't work for us, that distort our light, that prevent that beautiful, perfect being from being, uh, from shining brightly. So today, we're all just going to work on what Mark Marin said. We're all going to work on being who we really are. So pretty soon, maybe as soon as the practice is over, we will all be light-filled beings with nothing that distorts that light. Find a seat that feels good for you and close your eyes. Take a moment to peer deeply within At the core of who we are, there is that brightness, there is that light, that perfect being. In our practice today, we work on removing, taking away, stripping away anything that prevents that light from shining brightly. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Take a couple of more breaths here with your hands joined together in front of the light of who you are to acknowledge that you are a perfect being, that there is divinity in you And now make a commitment to use your practice as a tool to shine that light, to begin stripping away or unveiling whatever distorts your light. On your next exhale, release your hands down to your legs or your lap. Inhale, sit a little taller, lift your head up, and then gently open your eyes. Let's start in a child's pose. I always sort of think about whenever I see uh, an infant's foot, 
you know, the foot, this little baby foot has never walked before. It's perfect. It doesn't have any calluses on it. It's like that perfect light. And then, you know, as we walk through the fire of life, the, the foot, I don't know, I'll just look at my own foot. It, it, it gets a little janky, you know, got to take care of those feet. So let's come into child's pose. We'll think about really stepping back in time here. Let your arms stretch out in front. If you're playing music, now's the time to press play on that. Let your back lengthen here in your child's pose as you stretch your arms a little farther out in front. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Release through your mouth. Couple more breaths right here, maybe inching those fingers a little farther forward. Take one last exhale here in child's pose. And then as you inhale, lift up to hands and knees. Bring your knees in about hip width distance apart. On your exhale, take cat pose, rounding the back, looking up towards the belly, opening the spine. On your inhale, take cow pose, looking forward, sending your inner thighs back and your shoulders forward. And then keep rolling through cat on your exhale and cow on your inhale. Using these breaths to get attuned to your body to get the movement of your body attuned to your breath. After your next cow pose, come into neutral spine. And then from here, you're gonna cup your right fingers behind your right ear, point the elbow straight out to the side. As you inhale, twist open. So point your right elbow up to the sky as you look up. And then as you exhale, bring your elbow down to tap the inside of your left wrist. Try to keep your left arm straight. And we'll keep going with the breath. Inhale, twist open, elbow points up. Exhale, twist closed, elbow touches your wrist. One more time, inhale up and exhale down. This time as you inhale, lift up, stretch your arms straight up overhead, reach up high, and then as you exhale, twist closed, thread your right arm behind the left arm, lower down onto the right side of your head and your right shoulder. And once you land in your twist, think about walking your left arm forward towards the head of your mat, maybe coming on to fingertips with that left hand, rolling the left shoulder back, opening the spine here in the twist. Walk your left hand in place, uh, back in place under your shoulder, and then inhale, lift up to hands and knees. Exhale, cat pose, just one time. Inhale, cow pose, one time. And then come back to neutral. For neutral, cup your left fingers behind your left ear. For now, elbow points straight out to the side. As you inhale, twist open, left elbow up to the ceiling, look up. As you exhale, left elbow taps the inside of your right wrist. Keep the right arm straight. Inhale, twist open. Exhale, twist closed. Inhale, open. Exhale, closed. This time as you inhale, twist open, take your left arm straight up overhead, look up, and then as you exhale, bring the left arm down, thread it across, settle onto your left shoulder, left side of your head, and then walk that right hand towards the top of your mat, beyond fingertips with the right hand, and then pull the right shoulder back. And then bring your right hand back in place under your right shoulder. Inhale, lift you back up to hands and knees. One more time, exhale, cat. 
and inhale, cow. And then downward facing dog. Lift your knees off the mat. Stretch your hips back. Stretch your heels down. Lengthen through the spine. Make any micro adjustments you like here. Moving around a little bit. Shifting your hips. Shifting your heels. Whatever feels good in your body to sort of get that full body, back body stretch here in your downward dog. Be sure to move your head around a little bit. Let those neck muscles loosen up. And then start walking your feet to the top of your mat. And we'll meet at the front of the mat and forward bend. Throughout our practice today, we'll be doing these clearing or cleansing breaths, which is a deep inhale through the nose and then an exhale through the mouth. We've already done one in our child's pose. We'll do one here, focusing on the exhale to clear away whatever is obscuring your bright, perfect light. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Next inhale, rise up to stand. Take your arms up overhead, join your palms. And then on an exhale, bring your hands to your heart. One more breath in here, and then exhale, hands down by your hips. If you want to start Ujjayi breathing, and you haven't already, now's the time to start. A little toning in the throat so you can hear the sound of your breath. So we're gonna do a little bit of shoulder opening here. As you inhale, bring your arms forward, cross them in front of you, and then lift up, uncross, and then exhale. Try to press the hands far back behind you as you lower the hands down. We'll go a little faster now. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more in this direction. Inhale to lift. Exhale down. One more. Lift up and exhale lower. And now we change directions. Inhale. Circle your arms back and out and up. And then exhale. Cross over the front of your body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Try to make the circle as big as you can. Here's the last one. Release the hands down. Bring your hands to your heart. Let that light shine out. We're all going to be who we are pretty soon. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, forward bend, fold down to the earth. Inhale, stretch forward halfway. On your exhale, fold back in. Take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers, keep the tops of the shoulders lifted away from the floor, and then bring your hands away from your back. Fold over those legs. Nice rhythmic breath here, maybe Ujjayi breath. Release your hands back down to the mat. Inhale, lengthen forward halfway again. On your exhale, downward facing dog, step your feet to the back of your mat. Ride your inhale forward into plank and your exhale down to chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, lift up and then lower back down to your mat. Widen your hands out and come onto fingertips again. Point your elbows up at the ceiling. Inhale, lift up into a little bit of a cobra and then start to roll one shoulder and then the other. As we loosen up the body, we can loosen up some of our perceptions, some of our habits also, so that divine light shines a little brighter. Inhale, lift up into a modified cobra here on your fingertips. Exhale, lower back down to the floor. Bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand. Grab your foot, hug your heel in towards your hip. If you're super flexible, you're not feeling this stretch across the front of the right thigh, tuck your tailbone down towards the floor. See if that will help you. Yeah. 
Exhale, release, stretch the right leg back, switch sides, bend the left knee, reach back with your left hand, grab on where you can, hug your heel down towards your hip. And again, if you need more, tuck the tailbone under. And then exhale, really stretch the leg back. Downward facing dog. Look at the front of your mat and walk, step, or hop your feet all the way up to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise up to standing. Reach up tall, touch your palms together. Exhale, hands come home to your heart. Each time you come back here, just check in with yourself. Make sure that you're uh, doing what you can to remove anything that prevents your divinity, your bright light from shining. Inhale, lift your arms up high, look up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lengthen out halfway. Take your vinyasa now, stepping back to downward dog as we did before, or jumping into chaturanga. We will meet in downward facing dog. From downward dog, inhale, right leg back and up behind you. Bend your knee and twist open, taking that right foot over to the left. Let's work on our balance a little bit here. Keep your right foot reaching to the left. Get a little lighter in your right hand, maybe coming on the fingertips with the right hand, maybe just a fingertip or two on the floor. Maybe you lift all the fingertips off the floor and then lower back down, stretch your right leg back behind you, square your hips, exhale, lunge your right foot to the top of your mat, come to warrior one, root the back foot into the ground and inhale, rise up to warrior one. So just take a moment to check in with yourself here. We're going to return to this pose in a little bit. We'll do that check-in again. As you exhale, circle your arms out wide. Reach them down behind you. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, humble warrior. Fold inside your front leg. Bring your hands away from your back as you let your head dangle down towards the earth. On your inhale, lift back up. Warrior one, take the arms back up overhead again, lift up. And then bring the arms down, uh, so you'll circle down, and then come into eagle arms with your left arm under your right arm. Wrapping the forearms, keep the legs as they are, keep the arms as they are, and now back bend here with your eagle arms, press those elbows up towards the ceiling, Look up, reach the fingertips back behind you. Inhale, lift your torso back upright. On your exhale, full eagle. Stand on your right leg, cross the left thigh, over the right thigh. Find your balance here. And then as you're ready, exhale. Knees and elbows come together. Pulling in, squeezing the inner thighs together. Squeezing the belly in and up here. On our inhale, lift up, unwrap the arms, unwrap the leg, come out to airplane pose. Still balancing on the right leg. Shoot the left leg back behind. Hands go back by the hips. Finding your airplane, settling into that balance, being steady. On your exhale, back to warrior one. Back foot down, back heel down. Sweep the arms up. Second time to be in this pose on this side. Notice how it feels. Unfurling, unwrapping, unveiling, opening up, shine your light. Exhale, hands down to your mat. One leg dog, right leg high behind you. One leg vinyasa option. From your downward dog, take a big breath in through your nose. Exhale, clear out through your mouth. 
Second side, inhale, left leg back and up behind you. Bend your knee and twist open. And then we'll start to work on the balance on this side. If you keep a steady gaze with your eyes, the balance will be easier. Maybe come on to left fingertips. If you're comfortable there, maybe just one or two fingertips remain on the floor. Maybe you lift the whole hand off the floor. Put the hand back down, stretch the left leg back, square your hips, exhale, lunge your left foot to the top of your mat. Warrior one, before you lift up, root into that back foot and then find your warrior one. First time to be a warrior one on this side. So take a moment, just notice how it feels to be here. And then as you exhale, circle your arms down and behind your back, interlace your fingers with the other thumb on top or closer to your hips. Peel the shoulders back, exhale, humble warrior, fold down inside your leg. Let your head go. Try to keep that left hip pulling into the middle. It might want to really shoot out to the left, but try to keep it compacting in towards the midline. On your inhale, lift back up. Warrior one, taking arms up overhead. Legs stay as they are. As you circle the arms out, you're going to come into eagle arms with the right arm under the left arm. Find that eagle wrap of the arms and then take a back bend here in your warrior one stance. Elbows reaching up towards the ceiling. Fingertips reaching for the wall behind you. Inhale, lift back up, keep the arms, and now add the legs for the full eagle pose. Garudasana, right thigh crosses over the left thigh. Take a moment to find your balance here, and then on an exhale, pull everything in. Nice tight ball you're creating here. Inner thigh squeezing, belly lifting in and up. And then on an inhale, we start to unwrap into airplane pose. Reach the right leg back, reach the hands back on either side of the hips. Try to square your hips here. Keep your gaze really steady. Stay with your balance. And then on an exhale, back to warrior one. Right foot down at the back of the mat. Lift up, open up into your back bend a little bit more here. Notice how it feels. And then exhale, hands down to the mat. One leg dog, left leg lifts up to the sky. One leg vinyasa option, if that's what you like. Of course, both feet on the floor works. A downward dog hold works or a child's pose. Friend or downward dog, bring your feet to the top of your mat. Walk, step, or hop. And then take a deeper fold over the legs here. As you inhale, rise up. Touch the palms together overhead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Exhale, hands to your heart. Dancer pose. So we're going to stand on the right leg. Bend your left knee. Reach back with your left hand or a strap. And hold on to your left foot. Once you feel steady here, take your right arm into the air. Stay steady with your focal point out in front of you. Don't let your gaze drop down to the floor. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, hinge forward at your hips. Push your foot back into your hand. Broaden across your chest. Keep your gaze lifted. Maybe try to lift that left leg a little higher. We're going to take one breath in here. On your exhale, chair pose. Bring your left foot down to meet the right. Lower the hips down. Take your gaze up between your hands. On your next exhale, hands to your heart. Twisted chair to the right. Take your left arm across. Find your twist. Point the right elbow towards the ceiling. Maybe gaze goes up towards the ceiling. And now we balance and move with the balance. Shift your weight into your right foot. Lift your left heel up towards your left hip. And slowly stretch the left leg towards the back of your mat. 
And then finally, the ball of the left foot comes down to the floor. Spread your hands apart, left fingers to the ground or towards the ground, right fingers up to the sky, twisting. On your next inhale, high crescent pose. Legs stay as they are, arms come up overhead, chest lifts, take a back bend here in your high crescent. And then exhale, both hands down to the mat, step back to downward facing dog. First option is to hold downward dog. Second option is to flow through the vinyasa, using your breath to connect movements. And then eventually returning to downward facing dog. On your inhale, lift your right leg, back and up behind you, bend your knee, twist open again. This time, if you want to flip over, go ahead and take that right foot down to the floor, lifting up your hips. And then inhale, back around to one leg dog. On your exhale, lunge your right foot up to the top of your mat. Here we'll come up to warrior two. Turn both palms up to the sky. As you inhale, you're going to straighten that front leg and bring your fingertips to touch overhead. On your exhale, lower back down to warrior two. Two more of those. Inhale, lift with the breath. Pull everything in, belly in, pelvic floor in. Exhale, lower down. One more. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Keep everything as it is. Just straighten your front leg. Triangle pose, one breath in here, and then exhale, reach out until you can't reach forward anymore, and then right fingers to the floor, or your prop, left fingers to the sky. Take your gaze up past your top hand. And then on your next exhale, bend the right knee, bring your hands down on either side of the right foot, lift your back heel up. Now we'll bring the right arm on the inside of the right leg, wiggle the right foot farther out to the right. You're gonna put weight into your left hand, stretch the right arm out in front of you. Take a breath here. As you exhale, get the front of your body low to the floor. So you'll bend that left elbow as you get lower. Stay low. Take your right hand out to the right so it's in front of the shin. As your right hand reaches to the right, press back through your left heel. Inhale, hand comes back in front. Exhale, take your right hand to the left. Peel back through the right outer hip. Inhale, reach your hand back in front so you can get a little bit lower here as you reach the hand out in front and then bring your right hand down to the floor. Straighten that right leg. So right hand is on the inside of the right leg. Straighten the right leg and just fold down. We'll take a couple of breaths here, opening the back of the leg. And then push down into both hands, pull up through your belly. We're going to see if we can lift that right foot off the ground and take it back to one leg dog in a semicircle shape. So push into the hands, pull into the belly, start to lift that right foot off the ground, circle it out to the side and back and up behind to one leg dog, one leg flow option can happen right here. From downward dog, bring your feet to the top of your mat. Fold over your legs, chair pose. Lower your hips down, stretch your heart up to the sky. And then push into the feet, stand all the way up straight. And then from here, with strong core, take a back bend, standing back bend, opening the front of the body. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Here, take a deep breath in through your nose. 
Clear it out through your mouth. Second side, chair pose. Lower your hips down, lift your heart up. Oh, sorry, stand all the way back up. Second side starts with dancer pose. So bring your hands to the hips. Shift your weight into your left foot. Find your focal point out in front of you. Bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand. Grab onto your foot. When you're ready, when you feel balanced, take your left arm straight up overhead. Keeping that focal point out in front, use the next exhale to bring your chest forward and to press your foot back into your hand. Also lifting the sole of the foot up towards the ceiling. Take one more breath here in Dancer, and then as you exhale, land into Chair Pose. Now we're there. From chair, exhale, hands to your heart. Twist your chair to the left. So you bring your right arm across, point your left elbow towards the ceiling. Hands are still in prayer, twisting around. To move with the balance, it's easier to look at the floor, harder to look at the side wall or the ceiling. So find your focal point. Put your weight into your left foot. Lift your right heel up towards your hip and then slowly stretch the right leg back behind you, eventually lower, lowering the ball of the foot down to the floor. Fly the arms apart, left fingers, uh, right fingers down, left fingers up, twisting, opening up here. On an inhale, high crescent pose, take both arms up overhead, open up, let that light shine out in a back bend in your high crescent. Exhale, hands down to the mat, one leg dog, left leg lifts up high behind you. One leg flow, if that's what you did on the first side. From downward dog, inhale, left leg back behind you. Bend your knee and twist open. First option, stay here in the twist, maybe working on your balance. Second option, slowly start to flip over. Lifting your hips up and maybe taking your head back, letting that light from your heart open and shine in every direction. Inhale, back around to one leg dog. On your exhale, lunge your left foot to the top of your mat. Warrior two. Find a way to get steady in this warrior two by rooting into the legs, by isometrically pulling the feet in towards the center, towards one another. Turn your palms up. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Touch your palms, uh, your fingertips together overhead. Exhale, lower down, warrior two. Inhale, lift up. Use your exhale to descend. One more, inhale, lift up. Fingertips touch, exhale, lower down. Now, everything stays as it is except the front leg. Straighten the front leg. Take a breath in, and then as you exhale, reach forward. And when you can't reach forward anymore, lower the left fingers down. Take the right fingers up. Take your gaze up past your top hand. Maybe taking the back of your head back a little bit. One more breath in here, and then as you exhale, bring your hands down to either side of the front foot, bend into the front knee, lift your back heel off the mat. Now bring your left arm to the inside of the left leg and work that left foot a little bit wide. You're gonna put weight into your right hand, stretch your left arm out in front, and now you bend that right elbow, get closer to the ground. You're gonna stay low as you exhale and take your left hand to the left in front of the shin. Inhale, back to the front. Exhale, reach your hand over to the right. Peel back through the left outer hip. Inhale, back to the front. One more chance to get a little bit low here. 
and then plant your hand down on the inside of the left foot and then straighten that left leg. We'll take a few breaths here, letting the back of the left leg, maybe left inner thigh stretch out a little bit. And now we're going to do that semicircle with the left leg to get to one leg dog. So push into the hands, pull up into the belly, lift the left foot off the ground, circle it out to the side and back and up behind you to one leg dog, one leg vinyasa. You got it. Bring your feet to the top of your mat. Last chair pose. Bend the knees. Lift the heart up. Take a couple of breaths here in your chair. And then on your next inhale, straighten the legs. Stand up tall. Take a back bend here. Use your hands for support at your low back or at your head for your neck or arms straight up overhead. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Big breath in through your nose. Clear away through your exhale, through your mouth. One more flow here, each side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, float down to the mat. Inhale, lengthen out. Take your vinyasa, stepping back to downward dog or jumping into chaturanga. From downward dog, inhale, right leg high behind you. Lift it up. Exhale, place your right foot right up between your hands at the front of your mat. Side angle pose. So spin your back heel down to the ground. Keep your front foot right where it is. As you inhale, take your left hand back past your left hip and up and all the way over your ear. If you don't like this version, if you feel too closed up in that right hip, you can bring your right forearm to your right thigh. As you inhale, lift up to warrior two. As you exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, lift back up, and then exhale, windmill your hands back down to the ground, either side of the front foot. Lift your back heel up. We're going to go to side plank pose on the left hand, where our feet are stacked on top of each other. And then from there, we might get to Kapinjalasana. So walk that left hand a little bit forward. Come onto the outer edge of your left foot. If you can, stack your right foot on top of the left and take your right arm up into the air. So this is side plank pose. First option is to stay right here. Second option, lift up that right leg, bend the right knee, reach back with the right hand, grab your foot, press your foot back away from your hip, take your head back, open up into the sideways back bend, and then Flip dog, lower the right foot down to the ground, lift the hips up, and then inhale back around to one leg dog, we're almost there. From one leg dog, one leg vinyasa, or put your foot on the ground, and we will all eventually meet in a child's pose. If you're ready, go right to the child's pose. From your child's pose, with arms stretched out in front of you, so this is extended child's pose, deep breath in through your nose, exhale, release it. Releasing any bad habits or perceptions, ways of thinking that cloud or distort our light. All right, make your way back up to downward facing dog.
Second side, inhale, left leg back and up behind you, reach it high. Exhale, lunge your foot to the top of your mat. Side angle pose, back heel on the ground. You can take the variation where your left forearm is on your left thigh or sweep the right hand back past the right hip. Bring the right bicep right near your ear. Try to hug that outer left hip into the center as you take your right shoulder blade back. One more exhale here in side angle. As you inhale, lift up to warrior two. As you exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, back up to warrior two. Exhale, windmill your hands down to either side of the front foot. Lift the back heel off the mat and we prepare for side plank pose. So bring your right palm about an inch in front of your right shoulder. And then if it works for you, step your left foot back to stack on top of your right. And then that left hand goes straight up into the air. You can also do this with your right knee down on the ground. Stay here, first option. Second option, lift your left foot up, bend your left knee, take your foot back behind you. See if you can reach back with that left hand to grab your foot and open up into a back bend here. One more breath in, and then if you've got the foot, release it down off the right side of your mat, coming around to foot dog or rock star. Let that light shine out right here. And then back around to one leg dog. Last one leg flow opportunity here. And again, we'll meet in a child's pose. If you're done with the flowing, go straight to child's pose. If you are flowing, use that breath to connect your movements. And now that you're in child's pose, again, cleansing breath in here. Deep inhale, exhale through your mouth. All right, we're gonna make our way onto our bellies. So um, you can make that trip to your belly more rigorous with a, like a half flow there, or you can slither forward onto your belly. And from here, Dhanurasana or bow pose, bend your knees. You'll reach back with your hands to hold your feet or your ankles. Lift the belly up. You want just a slight tuck of the tailbone to protect your low back here. Lift the fronts of your shoulders high away from the floor. Take your gaze out in front of you. One more breath in, and then as you exhale, lift away from the floor. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Lift the back of your head up. Press your feet up towards the ceiling. This is where the light can really shine here. We're stretching that front body, unveiling, opening up. One more breath in, and then as you exhale, release down, stretch the legs back, turn your head to one side, so rest on one cheek here. Let the fronts of the shoulders rest into the floor. And then bring your head to neutral. We'll do one more of these bow poses. So bend your knees, reach back, grab on where you can. Lifting to, into the belly and a little bit of lengthening through the tailbone, fronts of the shoulders lift, head lifts, and then exhale. Press your feet to the ceiling, squeeze your shoulder blades in towards one another. Think about squeezing your inner thighs towards one another. Let the breath rock you a little bit here. Shining, unveiling, tapping into your divinity. And then exhale, let it go. Stretch the legs back, turn onto your other cheek. We'll take just a couple of breaths right here.
All right, bring your head to neutral. And you're make your way around to a wide leg seat on your mat. So stretching the legs or the feet wide apart. As you're finding that seat, think about rocking the top of the pelvis forward and the bottom of the pelvis back. So sometimes in the seat, especially if the undersides of the legs are tight, we have a tendency to rock the top of the pelvis back and the bottom of the pelvis forward and then cave in in the front body. So see if you can take the top of the pelvis forward, bottom of the pelvis back. If that's not working for you, then maybe find something to sit on. We'll give you a little bit of elevation to allow you to get that pelvis more into a place that's gonna be healthier for your back as we stretch here, healthier for the backs of the legs. Bring your hands out in front, inhale, lift the front of the body up, and then as you exhale, walk your hands forward, See a beautiful uh, partner stretch here too, it's fantastic. So use your hands or your partner out in front of you to support you. For some of you, you'll bring your elbows to the floor or elbows onto props. And then some of you will walk your hands out, lowering your chest and your head down onto the floor. Lengthening the backs of the legs, the inner thighs, and lengthening the spine here as well. Trying to keep the heart open as much as you can. It is a forward bend, but we try to keep the heart reaching forward at the same time. Start to walk your hands back in, bringing your torso upright. Hold on on the inside of your knees and bend the knees and bring the soles of the feet together. This is called bound cobbler's pose or baba konasana. So again, we want to have the top of the pelvis coming forward, the bottom of the pelvis rotating back. That's a tough one for me to do in this position, so maybe even sit up on something. Grab right at the base of your shins and flare your elbows out. Lift your chest up, take a breath in, and then as you exhale, bring your heart forward, bowing forward over your legs. Again, try to keep a little bit of heart opening here, even though you're forward bending and your back is rounding, we're still trying to stretch the chest, the heart forward, keeping that light shining. Inhale, lift back up. You're gonna leave your left leg where it is. Bring the right uh, knee up so it points up towards the ceiling. We're gonna go for crown chasana or heron pose. So with both hands, reach down and grab on either side of your right foot. You can also use a strap or a shirt, a towel, whatever you have uh, here to use as a prop. Try to squeeze that right thigh in towards your chest and then press the right heel forward and up into the air. If you have the room for it, think about bending your elbows and bringing your leg closer to your chest. Thus, at the same time you're bringing your leg closer to your chest, you're also trying to bring your chest forward towards your thigh. And then on an exhale, bend your knee and lower that right leg down. And we'll take the second side. So the placement of the right leg is not important here. So just have the knee bent and then bend your left knee. So the kneecap points up at the ceiling. Take your hands, your towel, your strap, whatever you've got on either side of the left foot. Hug that left thigh, front of the thigh up towards your chest 
bring your chest towards your thigh, and then as you exhale, press that left heel forward and up until your leg is straight-ish, straight or getting there. If your leg is straight and you have the room for it, bend your elbows, pull your leg up towards your chest. At the same time, lift your chest up. Crown chasana. And then on your next exhale, bend your knee, lower your leg back down. Let's come onto our backs. So stretch out. Uh, let's bend the knees, soles of the feet on the floor. But come onto your back. We'll take one um, inversion here. So we'll come into shoulder stand. If you know shoulder stand, go ahead and go for it. If you have now or in the past have had neck issues, it's probably best for you to do a supported shoulder stand where you place something under your hips to elevate them. I happen to have a block I can put underneath my hips and then I take my legs up into the air. This will be my shoulder stand here if I have neck issues. If not, take the legs up. You're going to push the hands into the floor. Get a little bit of momentum to lift the hips off the ground and then your hands will become, uh, come behind your back to support the legs and the hips lifting. So take a breath in, a little momentum to lift. And then the soles of the feet pointing up towards the ceiling, back of the head pressing into the floor, upper arms pressing down, shoulder blades squeezing towards one another. Taking a few breaths here in the inversion or whatever inversion you want, if shoulder stands not for you today. And then as you exhale, start to move your hands out of the way and let your spine slowly release to the floor. And then eventually we will bring the feet down to the mat, knees bent. We'll take one uh, counter posing back bend here. This one is called fish pose. So you can wiggle your hands, uh, palms down underneath your hips, and then wiggle those elbows in, wiggle the shoulders in, try to arch your back up away from the floor, pressing the back of your head into the floor. And then with your legs, you can either, first option is to straighten the legs out, straight onto the floor. Second option is to lift the legs up, floating the legs above the floor, Lifting the chest up. One more breath to shine out through the heart. And then as you exhale, release everything down to the mat. Release your hands from underneath your hips. Take your legs a little wider apart. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Take a moment to turn your head side to side, just releasing your neck. And then it is Shavasana time. So once again, uh, we'll do three cleansing breaths. So look, you're not in a public class. You can make as much noise or whatever kind of noise you want to release whatever you feel is veiling your light, is distorting your light. So let's do those three cleansing breaths. Make a little noise maybe. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it out. One more deepest inhale, really inflate the lungs. And then exhale, blow away whatever is distorting your light.
we're all going to be who we are pretty soon. Maybe now settle into your corpse pose. Let your breath return to a natural breath so it's an easy in, an easy out. Start to open your breath up a little bit. Deeper inhale. Longer exhale. Let the movements the breath creates in your body begin to reawaken you. And then eventually add in your own movements through your hands and through your feet. Place both hands over your heart and feel that light, that perfect being, that divinity within you. On your next inhale, stretch your arms overhead, stretch your legs in the opposite direction and let that light shine out every way, top to bottom, front to back, side to side. On an exhale, roll to your side. Take a moment to honor yourself for doing the work it takes to unveil, to strip away uh, maybe distorted ways of seeing or doing things so that your light can shine unobstructed. And then make your way up to a seat. Close your eyes and bring your hands to your heart.
we're all going to be who we are pretty soon. This is the goal that we're reaching for in yoga to be our true selves and to let the light of that true self shine out and be a beacon. Let's take a moment to send our energy and to honor the sick, the hurting, those who are helping the sick and the hurting. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. Thanks, everybody.